Hey everyone, today I want to talk to you guys about cursive texts and kerning in Design Space. And now, if you don't know what that is, you'll notice that when you type something into Design Space and it's a cursive font, the letters don't connect automatically. Now, Design Space was created to work in conjunction with the Cricut, and since it's a cutting machine, it recognizes every letter as a single layer. So in order to cut it as a whole piece with your letters connecting, you have to make some edits. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that today, along with a few other programs that connect them automatically and export as an SVG. So I will be using the Samantha Upright font through all three programs to make it easier for us. Okay, so I typed out my text. And the first thing I'm going to do is go up here to my letter space and reduce it to zero. I always start at zero and then I can go up and down if I need to. Now I'm going to next go to the down button and just reduce it a tiny bit more. And once I'm happy with the placement, I'm going to do my next few steps. Now this connected perfectly, but not all of them do. So I'm going to show you guys how we can connect it if they don't connect perfectly like this. Now, if you are new to Design Space and you're not aware, you will need to weld your cursive fonts once they're all connected. Welding makes them one single piece so they don't cut out individually. I'm going to quickly change the color to a lighter color here, and you guys can see how they are overlapping instead of one whole piece. And you'll see the difference once we weld it. So what we're going to do before we make any edits, we are going to go over to the duplicate button and then we are going to hide the duplication. That way, if we need to make any edits, we can come back and use that piece after we save it and we don't have to worry. So what we're going to do now with this piece here is we are going to ungroup it. I'm going to ungroup it because I wanna show you guys that say my O, all, everything else connected perfectly except for that O, by ungrouping it, we can move it manually. So you can use the left and right arrows on your keyboard, or you can hold the shift key down on your keyboard and use your mouse. And by holding the shift key, it keeps it in place so it lines up perfectly. And then what we're going to do is just drag our mouse around all of that and weld. Now keep an eye on the overlap between the letters so you can see how it becomes one piece by welding. Okay, so now you can see that there's no more overlap, it's one connected piece. Now, once you save it, you won't be able to go back and edit. That's why we did the duplication. But you can also see that the piece that we didn't weld still shows us what font we used. But if you welded it, it's easy enough to check. You can just click on the layer in your layers panel, right click with your mouse, go down to image info. It's grayed out, but it is there. So keep that in mind. Okay, so now I'm going to go over to Inkscape and quickly show you guys how we can do it here. We're going to go over to the text box here. We are going to just make a box. I'll type hello. I'm going to go up to the upper left here where we change our font. Type in Samantha Upright. And then I'm going to select this little arrow right at the top of my toolbar. And while holding Control and Shift on my keyboard, I'm going to pull this little arrow out and that keeps it um, proportional and locked in one place. So what we're going to do in order to export this as an SVG, we're going to go up to path, object to path, where we'll go over to object and ungroup. By using that feature, it shows us that everything did separate. And then we will go to path and then union, which is basically your weld. We will hold shift and control again and reduce the size. You wanna make sure it fits in this black rectangle here so that when it imports to design space, it shows up correctly on your canvas and not somewhere way off. Okay, and now to save this, we're going to go to file, save as, and we're just going to type whatever. We're going to save as a plain SVG I save it to my downloads, and then you can just go and upload it right to Design Space like you do any other file. So now we're going to check out Font Lab Pad. Okay, this is another program that automatically connects them and does the kerning, and then you can export as an SVG. So we'll go up to File. We are going to go to File, Open Installed, 
and that's going to bring up all of the fonts that we already have installed on our computer. Now my battery is running a little low and I have several thousand fonts downloaded so mine might take a second, yours might not take as long, but it could depending on your processor and everything. So I'm just going to type in Samantha right up here, Samantha Upright, click OK, and then we can just start typing. So I'm going to type hello, already connected. We'll go right over here to this arrow button here. We are going to, it will bring it up to save as. We're just, I like to rename my files. So hello, Samantha. You can save it. Um, I like to save everything in my downloads. And then you can go down to save as type. Now a PNG has um, a transparent background, so you'll still have to go through some cleaning up when you upload it. But if you save it as an SVG and save as, you can upload it like you do any other SVG to Design Space. So I hope this helped everyone.